going on, uh, Christmas Day has come and gone. Uh, this is the day after Christmas. And I'm going to go on, on the 66th day of my fourth year, first video. I'm going to go on, of the first video of the day. I'm going to go on with Advent and Christmas Baroque choral music. And the, the two composers I'm using are Handel and Bach. And now I'm going to go back to Bach. Uh, I, I want to discuss Bach's Christmas Oratorio. Uh, you know, I had found it because I, you know, I was very much into the music of Bach, and I wondered, did Bach do anything like Handel did with Messiah? Well, it's, it's, it's so different. <laughs> I, I figured I'd write that down. It's Baroque, it's choral. Bach and Handel were born in the same year. They were German, and yet this music is so different. Uh, Handel's Messiah was intended for a, a, a concert hall, uh, really, sung in English, fairly easy uh, music, which may strike you if you find it difficult. But, but then you go to Bach, and, and the Christmas Oratorio is sung in German. I'm sure it's done somewhere in English. It can be done in English. It's been translated, but, but uh, it's not... Uh, I think my choir, when we did it, we, we did it in English, I'm almost certain, yeah, I think. Uh, it, it's put together from six separate cantatas. Now that's called parody music. I, I just uh, uh, learned that. It doesn't mean it's making fun of anything. It, it means it, it's gathering uh, things up from other places and putting them together. And Bach himself did that. He, 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 he put it together. Uh, uh, it was first performed in the, this year, uh, 37, uh, 34, 35, because it goes across the new year, 17, 34, 35. Uh, the first three cantatas, each cantata was supposed to be done on a different day. And then the last three of the cantatas, uh, January 1st, 2nd, and 6th, which would be Epiphany. The 12 days, the Christmas season originally was 12 days long. It wasn't just Christmas or Christmas Eve and then Christmas and then it was over. No, it, it was 12 days long and, and uh, you know, they, uh, you know, it was meant to be performed in a, I want to say Leipzig, Germany, uh, I'm not sure, but in a church where you go to church service and you'd hear the cantata and each one separate. So as I say, it's, it's so different. Nowadays when it's performed in concert, it's performed, uh, this is part one and this is part two and it's quite long. But it, it's not done nearly as much. I mean, in the English-speaking world, this this is probably not very well known at all. Uh, as I said, it's sung in German. Now, I, I had intended originally to, to go through it and discuss it in great detail, a little bit the choral part, like I did uh, uh, Handel's Messiah, but I'm not going to. I realize that, that, that Bach is too much. There's simply too much there to do that. Uh, and I couldn't carry, uh, I, I don't think I could carry an audience interest uh, at this point. Plus, I don't have my own score. Uh, I looked on the shelves, and I usually kept one score, but I don't. I think I turned all these scores in to the Sacred Music Library in Holidaysburg, Pennsylvania, which, I don't know if that's there, uh, which I would like to give it a plug. Uh, the last I knew, they have a closet in, in that church. First Presbyterian Church, I think it is, in Hollisburg, Walnut Street, uh, <laughs> full of scores of wonderful music, full scores, about t t between 10 and 20 of each that my choir used. They supported my choir, and uh, I hope uh, they're still there. I, my choir hasn't been uh, singing for about the last three years. But, uh, but anyway, I turned the score in, so I don't have a score to easily look at. But that doesn't matter, you know, I can find everything online. But it's just, uh, it's just too much. Uh, and I even, th I, I'd even intended to translate word by word the German, because I love to do that. I, it, it, it expands my German and, and shows uh, why I love the German language, what's so cool about the German language to an English speaker. But there just is not time. So instead, what I'm going to do is uh, each, for six days, I'll have a comment to make, I think, and I myself will listen to them. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I, yes, East, uh, Christmas morning, I, I, I listened to the first one, uh, 
And, uh, and today I'll, I'll listen to uh, the, the second uh, of the cantatas. Where are my numbers here? No, I guess I didn't write one. Th uh, but anyway, I'll listen to the second of the six cantatas. Um, and, uh, and, and so on. And then I'll skip. So I'll do it sort of on those days. Um, uh, in the first uh, uh, cantata, I had said right along that my, I was not going to be so ambitious as to <laughs> cover something wider than that of choral music. The opening chorus, the chorus number one, the first movement is a chorus, and it's difficult. Uh, I mean, immediately you see that this is more difficult stuff. The, the choir is called on. Not just, oh, let's trill. I don't think trills are written into Handel's score for the chorus, I'm pretty sure. But they are for, for the box. I mean, they, they, they trill from the word go. Uh, now that's a chorus. Five, seven, and nine are chorales. And chorales are tunes, uh, Protestant, basically Protestant Lutheran hymn tunes that have been set to four-part harmony. And uh, that, that, I don't want to go into that whole thing now, but, but there were a lot of chorales. It's one of the reasons my choir could do this, because a chorale for my choir at that time was easy. There was nothing to that. And the choruses, I think there's a total of maybe just six choruses. Uh, and the rest, uh, the soloist part, I, I had someone read those, the, uh, a lot of them. The, the, uh, the recitatives, I had a reader read them. And uh, I think some of them, maybe, maybe most of the arias I had a choir member do. But in any case, I would ask you to look at it. I'll give you a link. I don't think I've got this. Uh, this may be an H. I, I don't think I've got this guy's name right. But I'm going to give you the link to this performance, which is done in a fairly small church in Vienna, Austria. I'm fairly sure. I'd like you to see that, uh, at least this, the beginning of it. Uh, partly because it's so small and it's so different. But I also want you to see the soprano and alto section when they sing. They're boys. This is a knabenchor, I think you call it. This is a boys choir, a men and boys choir that sing here. So, uh, and then I think tomorrow I'll give you uh, another link uh, that might be more uh, easier for you to, uh, to deal with. But I'd like you to see that. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure how far you'll go with it, but... Uh, that I'll give you, and uh, all right, I, I guess that's, uh, oh, oh, and there's this. If you get really curious and you'd like to see, well, what, what are those words? What are they singing? Bach Cantata's website. I think if you search that, uh, if you Google that, you will find a website that has the translations there. All right. Uh,